In Argentina now, Senegalese immigrants living in Buenos Aires have denounced persecution by the city's police force. The immigrants have been subject to frequent raids and police abuses. With the latest now, here's our correspondent, Laudiano Ponce. In a meeting held in the Buenos Aires City Legislature, Senegalese immigrants said that they had been victims of discriminatory treatment by the city's metropolitan police. Representatives of the community of the African nation were received by local legislators who agreed to demand the city government, led by the right-wing pro-party, to put an end to racist conduct by the local police. We have decided to request a hearing with the head of the Metropolitan Police and the city's Eternal General to hear their opinion about this matter and to let them know that we are possibly involved in the racist actions that deserve our total rejection. Many members of the Senegalese community make a living as street sellers in Buenos Aires. They have said that despite having no proper documentation and paying the corresponding taxes for their activities, they have become a target for what they understand is a form of institutionalized racism by police officers and the city's judiciary. They break into our houses with a search warrant that they don't want to register what they seize. So these procedures can never be see a real register of these cases and the goods and the cash they seized. Officials of the National Human Rights Secretariat attended the meeting and expressed their commitment to fight any form of discrimination against Senegalese workers. We believe all those who inhabit our national territory have the same rights, and here we see a systematic, repeated and racist violation of the rights of the Sinese immigrants. Local lawmakers started working out a special document to be presented before the city's legislature in order to monitor the actions of the Buenos Aires City Police and to end any kind of racist behavior. Laureana Ponce, Telesur, Buenos Aires.